the WWE Universe with an electric feeling here tonight. We are sold out and raring to go. I am amped up, pumped up, jacked up, and ready to kick things off. What are we waiting for, fellas? Let's watch some fights. Looking at this card, I just got to rub my hands together and smile. Singles match coming up next. I'm getting goosebumps anticipating this one. It's a false count anywhere match, and it happens here. Coming up next. We have one of our breakout talents versus a formidable opponent. You don't want to miss it. I can't think of a better way to kick off this night. I don't know. Part of me hoped Saxton would have gotten lost on the way to the announce table. That definitely would have made things better. But no such luck. A six-time champion. I sometimes question the fact that she's friends with Alexa Bliss. But despite that fact, she's a legend. Cole, it sounds to me like maybe you're a little bit jealous that Mickey gets to spend time with the goddess and you're not even allowed to look in her general direction. Maybe. You too, Michael? Mickey James, uh, also a talented country singer. Nikki James, talented in the ring, talented behind the microphone. Byron, one of these days you'll find something you're good at in life. Maybe. And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. And Cole, I will be shocked if we don't see this one spill out to the arena floor sooner rather than later. Oh, what a 
slam. Elbow drop. Piercing. What a stomp. Good grief. Suplex. Byron, she has no idea where she is right now. And I assure you, the top of that turnbuckle is not where you want to be when you're in this kind of condition. Down with the Samoan drop. When it comes to falls count anywhere matches, for my money, there are few better than the November 2016 battle between Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks. Close line! Oh, that'll leave a mark. She's Ooh. starting to feel it, but you can bet she has plenty of fight in her. If you're worried about her now, you haven't seen many of her matches. She can withstand so much more punishment than this. Speaking of that classic Charlotte Sasha encounter Corey mentioned, we should add that it was the first time ever that the women's championship changed hands in a Falls Count Anywhere match. And guys, I will never forget the image of Charlotte tapping out to that unique bank statement in the crowd surrounded by the WWE Universe. And she's knocked off her feet. I think that would caught her by surprise, Michael. Stiff headbutt. Headbutt to the back of the neck. She's in a bad way here, Byron. Don't count her out yet, Michael. <laughs> Guys, the most important thing for a superstar to remember in a Falls Count Anywhere match is that anything goes. And I do mean anything. I hope someone uses you as a weapon, Saxton. Well, that gives new meaning to have a seat. She's looking wobbly, guys. And I assure you, the hazards outside the ring are very, very real. This is a bad situation. As Byron mentioned, anything goes in this one, which means we're likely to see a liberal use of weaponry here tonight. Yeah, and keep in mind, Cole, the fact that there's no disqualification also means that anybody can interfere and there's nothing you can do about it. She's got her. Things starting to go the other way for her. But this certainly isn't something she can't come back from. You know, she's the kind of competitor that actually likes getting hit. It motivates her. And this might just be what she needs to put her over the top, believe it or not. Well, guys, the referee should have it relatively easy here tonight. Because as you know, in a false count anywhere match, anything goes. Hooked up. Hard to argue your take on this match, Michael. When there are no rules to enforce, the official's sole responsibility in a match like this is to simply declare the victor. Yeah, the referee may only have one job, but I'm still willing to bet he finds a way to mess it up. This isn't looking good for her, guys. No, it's not, Michael. She looks absolutely out of it. Oh, man, she's rolling now. That'll hinder your modeling career. Real quick, in case we have any newbies watching, a Falls Count Anywhere match means that this contest can literally end anywhere. Simple, right? Even Saxton can understand. Now look at this, guys. Let the head games begin.
In describing this match, Corey, you said, I don't think that one is planned. Good. Look at that. There's a kick out at one. It's way too early. Jaw shattering boot. You gotta believe this one's over. Oh no, we've got a problem here, guys. No kidding. Who knows what'll happen next? Incredible drop. You know, I'd say the Falls Count Anywhere match was popularized back in the Attitude Era, but before that, I remember Pat Patterson and Sergeant Slaughter's famous 1981 Alley fight, which many consider to be the precursor to Falls Count Anywhere. This might be it! Oh, my! Mickey James was able to get out of there. As Byron mentioned, the Pat Patterson Sergeant Slaughter alley fight had many of the elements of a false count anywhere match. Most notably, I'd say, was the heavy weapon usage. Yeah, that match had everything from cowboy boots to brass knuckles, but more importantly, weren't you born in 1981, Saxton? Good point. Harsh impact. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. Great one-on-one -on -one action here tonight. It doesn't get much better than this. She dodges that one. She goes for the cover. One, two! And the shoulder's up. Wow! Ooh, a little shot. She is on fire! And it's McMickey James with a mick kick! That's how you put an exclamation point on a match. Nailed it. I can't believe this one's still going on, especially after the beating that's been delivered tonight. So much force there. Taking on any more damage here could very well mean <laughs> the beginning of the end. A minor miracle might be needed to overcome this beating. Wow, that won't separate your shoulder. That'll divorce it. I see where she's going with this. And it's Mickey James making a move. Oh, spiking DDT. That's it. That's what she needed. And Mickey, she goes for the cover. One. Oh, somehow! I can't believe she kicked out there. And it's Mickey James making a move. She's starting to fight out, guys. Looks to me like these superstars are running off fumes right about now. And she's able to break out of it. The lesson to learn here, Cole, is that you can never count her out. Both these superstars appear to be operating on fumes here, guys. Boom! 
given their performances tonight, it's too bad one of these superstars has to walk <laughs> out of here on the losing end. I don't know about you guys, but it looks to me like these superstars are on their last legs here. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. At this point, it looks like even the winner of this match will walk out of here beaten and battered. Vertical suplex! Nice! Both these superstars appear to be operating on fumes here, guys. <laughs> A disrespectful shove there. These superstars wearing the wounds right now of what has been an absolutely thrilling matchup. Ah! Shoving them away. What a slam. Impactful. It'll jar your spine. Shoved right off. Looks like both these superstars have found that little extra something to keep themselves going here tonight. There may be no coming back from this incredible beatdown. I don't know how much more damage one person could take. I don't care how tough you are. I really can't believe what's gone down so far. This match has been even more physical than I thought it would be. I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so physical. Ah! Ooh, what impact. What a brutal beating we've seen gifted out so far here tonight. At some point, the referee may want to think about stopping this one before somebody gets seriously injured. Focused attack on the back. I don't know how these superstars are doing it right now. They've got to be exhausted. Ah. Boy, I don't like the looks of this at all. But things are breaking down big time. Ah. Oh my goodness! What a comeback. And it's Mickey James making the moves. The shoulders are down. One, two, two, three. Done with one, and I win another great matchup. Singles match on tap next. When we return, it's a battle where the participants will need to know where they are at all times. We have a team led by one of our breakout talents versus the doom i cannot wait And from behind! Oh, come on! The 
are trying to screw him before this match even begins. You can't be surprised. This is what needs to be done to make an impact in the tag team division. And there's no way that this team is going to be ready to go here. And the other guys are still outside, screaming at him. And they love this. Of course they love it. They're the ones left standing. The referee ought to just call this one. Yeah, I agree. And it looks like it'll be these two superstars kicking it off huh. here tonight. position here. It looks to me like his partner's itching to get in there. And now might be a good time to give him what he wants. Oh. This thing appears to be slipping away from him in a hurry, guys. And you can bet he envisioned things going much differently for him heading into this match. Kingston are two-time tag team champions, but it was their second reign that put the New Day name in WWE history books forever. The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the Attitude Era. Everywhere you look, there's another tremendous tag team combination looking to make a run at the WWE Tag Team Gold. When we talk about the New Day, the team won a fatal four-way match in their second tag team title reign at 2015's SummerSlam. I may think the power of positivity stinks like a bag of rotting garbage and the Woods, Kingston, and Big E are idiots, but I'll give the New Day this. Look at it here. as surprised as you guys. Looking for all the glory here. Gets the shoulder up. Wow. What's it going to take? Gonna have to put in a little more work than that. He's coming for it. Counter here. Oh boy, he That's is rolling. a step quicker it looks like. Is he done? No, it's not over yet. Wow. Part of me thought he was going to tap, Cole. Beautiful technique. Oh, my God, guys. Look at this. Let's do this. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and play for a repeat. Oh, driver spiked him. That's what he was. He's got the shoulders down. What an incredible tag team contest. Now let's look back at that amazing action. Some pretty good give and take in this match, as these highlights show. These fans got their money's worth in this one, as you can see right here.
Here are your winners, Man Nick and TJP. That's it for this tag team match, and what a thrilling match it was. Wow, when you pick up a pinfall victory over somebody like that, you've done something right. I couldn't agree more. What an amazing contest that was. Let's keep the action rolling along. Singles match on tap next. It is time for war. Making his way to the ring from parts unknown, weighing in at 247 pounds, Bro. Well, Ro lives a Viking lifestyle both inside and outside the ring. One of the toughest men I have ever known in my life. Fought back from a nearly fatal motorcycle injury in 2014 to get back in the game in WWE. If you're looking to get punched in the mouth and stretched six ways from Sunday, Rose your Huckleberry. You know, guys, some people were just built to be WWE superstars. And if history's taught us anything, Kurt Hawkins was probably more likely built to be an electrician. You know, we talk a lot about Asuka's winning streak. Kurt Hawkins has one of the great all-time losing streaks. I don't think the guy's won a match in his career. Well, that just means he's got more motivation to capture that one elusive victory. Or change careers. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. Kurt Hawkins, bat crazy. To 
This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. Too worse for wear, at least not yet anyway. You hate to think this way, but part of me thinks he might be over his head inside that steel cage. By the looks of things, I don't think he expected his opponent to be as motivated as he clearly is here tonight. Oh, nasty impact. The best way to describe combatants clashing inside a steel cage is its battle of attrition. Sometimes a superstar is left with no choice but to fight fire with fire and do whatever they need to do in order to win the match. And sometimes it comes down to a superstar doing whatever they need to do in order to survive. And you touched on this earlier, but it's so important for a superstar to accept that there's nowhere to run and nowhere to hide in a steel cage match. That the conflict will be resolved within the 15-foot high steel walls that surround the ring. And that losing a cage match can mean much more than a mark in the loss column. For some, it has meant the end of their career. It's difficult to describe the damage that can be done to a superstar who competes in a steel cage match. We see the physical harm, but we don't see the psychological effects from being inside the cage. Make no mistake about it, Michael. The steel cage truly represents survival of the fittest. The WWE Universe has seen the evolution. Here he goes. Nobody controls the pace of a match. You've got to believe this one's over. That should do it. He has him right where he wants him. Going for broke. This might be it. Oh, my. That has got to be it. All right, when we talk about the progression of steel cage matches and the type of structures that have been spawned from them, I need to point out that some cages have been electrified. One was made from bamboo in the form of a Punjabi prison match. And, of course, the elimination chamber with glass pods and steel doors. And today we have the asylum match where weapons are on top of the cage. Just goes to show you that times may change, but the objective to destroy an opponent remains the same. There's still no better way to settle this. Referee is calling for the bell. The match is over. These guys were awesome. Let's take another look. He ain't playing here. I know the match was solidly entertaining, but I really hope these guys would take it to the next level. Regardless, nobody's asking winner, for their money back. Bro. And there's your winner, ladies and gentlemen. That's the kind of win that makes you feel good about yourself. What a match that was, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us. We'll see if the next match lives up to the hype of the first. Don't go anywhere.
Avert your gaze, Saxton. That's another man's wife. Easy. Making her way to the ring from Chicago, the ring of honor women's champion. Saxton, Maria if you ever Canales. had a female look at you the champion. way Maria looks at her husband, Mike Canellis, you would fall over and drop dead. You'd be surprised. I meet a lot of women at the grocery store. You know, Byron, she describes herself as a modern-day Mighty Mouse. Yeah, such a, a positive energy that Candice LeRae brings to the equation. Listen to this place on its feet for Candice LeRae. here with this huge TLC match. So much oh, can go wrong in a match like this, guys, which is why it's considered one of the most dangerous in all of WWE. You know what I like about her? She's approaching this match the same as she would if the title was on the line. What a punch! Uh-oh. Watch out! Oh, shoulder first! As the range has shifted. seen her withstand worse in the past though her opponent clearly oh. has a game plan here and that's to incapacitate her to the point where she simply cannot climb the ladder while she had a measure of success in the late 2000s many were surprised to see maria canales return in 2017 what was even more surprising was that she brought her husband mike You touched on Maria and Mike Kanellis' emergence in 2017. Well, that year also brought them their first child. But they recently returned with a vengeance. Mike was simply sick of being stuck on the sidelines. So, the Kanellis family stormed onto 205 Live with every intention of turning it into 205 Live. It's not a bad idea at all. When she gets in attack mode, look out. This is not where she wants to be. This is not at all where she hoped to be at this point in the match. I think a lot of people pegged her as the favorite heading into this TLC match. At this point, though, look out! Whack! Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Snapmare. Oh, and the rolling next snap. A TLC match is so dangerous that you never want to make a mistake. But being too tentative can also cost you. 
We saw that at TLC 2016 when AJ Styles defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against Dean Ambrose. Ambrose said that his temper was his game plan, but if anyone would be at home in a TLC match, it's the Lunatic Fringe. The 2016 TLC match was the 19th in history, and it would not be for Dana Hart. There was no way to predict which superstar was going to incapacitate his opponent first to climb up the ladder. AJ Styles showed he was more than comfortable battling in TLC's environment of twisted, unforgiving steel and solid wood. Both men had bad intentions, as displayed by AJ Styles when he executed a springboard 450 splash out to the floor that put Ambrose through a table. That wasn't enough to put Ambrose away, but James Ellsworth pushed Ambrose off the ladder, out of the ring, and through a table. That's how AJ Styles retained his championship. In control here with a... While well, Rio is a perennial championship contender during her first WWE run, she's come back even tougher this time around. That's because she's got a lot more to defend, Cole. She's a tough mama bear with a husband and a child to protect. This is a much improved Maria Kanellis. Whoa, the ladder hits. Jeez, that's going to hurt. Corey brought up Maria Kanellis' newfound motivation as a mother and wife. A younger competitor might not understand that drive. Wouldn't you agree, Byron? You're asking the wrong guy, Cole. Well, I actually do happen to agree, Michael. We've seen fatherhood motivate competitors like Daniel Bryan, The Miz, and Kevin Owens. But that bond and that hunger for success might be even stronger for a mother. Fatherhood has motivated me to make sure my son doesn't turn out like you, Byron. That's not a bad thing. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Let's make sure everyone's clear on the rules of a TLC match. There are no pinfalls, no countouts, no disqualifications, and no... The only way to win is to climb the ladder and retrieve the championship or championships that are suspended high above the ring. took us through the rules of a TLC match. Something to point out is that for TLC tag team matches, there are no traditional tag team match rules as far as tagging in and out with your partner. It's all team members in the ring at the same time, which used to be known as Texas Tornado Rules back in the day. TLC matches are fought under the premise of anything goes until it's time to climb the ladder and grab whatever's suspended over the ring. It's usually a championship. Since there are no rules, a superstar can do whatever they feel is necessary to reach the top of the ladder and climb straight to victory. If you talk to Maria Kanellis, it won't be long until she brings up 2017's Money in the Bank, where she returned to WWE with her husband, Mike Kanellis. A night, she says, she'll never forget. A move like that can get her right back into this match. Immediately. Adding to that thought about Maria and Mike Kanellis at Money in the Bank, the WWE promo touting the power of love was somewhat memorable, I, I guess. Oh, don't be jealous, Saxton. Just because you've never known the power of love doesn't mean you should reign on the Kanellis parade. Oh, so ruthless. Now that's how you use a table to your advantage. Byron, I have to believe that Candice's opponent will need to do all she can to keep her tied to the mat, to keep the daredevil in LeRae at bay. Yeah, Michael, it might be best to counter LeRae's high-flying style with mat-based wrestling and submission holds. Once again, thank you for tuning in. Oh, so ruthless. Now that's how you use a table to your advantage. Byron earlier used the term high flyer to describe Candice LeRae, but Candice doesn't like that term. She prefers to be called a high-risk wrestler, Corey. Yeah, whatever, but she needs to be smart in order to succeed. Candice needs to know that her opponent's going to do everything in their power to keep LeRae grounded.
The one thing that bothers the power couple the most is another more powerful couple. That has to be driving Maria Kanellis against Brie Bella here. Yeah, well, these two fought in the late 2000s on a number of occasions, and nowadays Maria wants to end Brie mode so that Brian and Bella quit it with the whole PDA thing. It's sort of gross. Oh, no, we've got a problem here, guys. No kidding. Who knows what will happen next? Here it is. Uh, Corey, did you just say Maria hates that Brie flaunts her relationship? Being romantic in front of thousands is pretty much all the Canellises do. Yeah, because when they do it, it's cute. Mike and Maria are romantic. If Maria wins here, maybe we won't see that goat kiss a girl anymore. Ugh. I think there's laws against that or something. Ending move. I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. If you talk to Maria Kanellis, it won't be long until she brings up 2017's Money in the Bank, where she returned to WWE with her husband Mike Kanellis, a night she says she'll never forget. <laughs> this one's not over yet. We've seen plenty of people come back from being in a lot worse shape. Adding to that thought about Maria and Mike Kanellis at Money in the Bank, their WWE promo touting the power of love was somewhat memorable, I, I, I guess. Oh, don't be jealous, Saxton. Just because you've never known the power of love doesn't mean you should reign on the Kanellis parade. What's going to happen now? She. Hmm. What a strike. Ooh, what to the face. She's starting to falter here. Looks like her chances of winning this match are starting to dwindle. Do not count this one out, guys. Clearly things aren't looking great for her right now, but I assure you she will do everything in her power to climb that ladder and win this match. Luckily for her, she can afford to take on a bit of offense here. She's still in really good shape compared to her opponent. I love the fact that TLC in the outside world means tender love and care. And the WWE, well, take a look for yourself. She was amazing all match long. Flawless technique, relentless attacks, and she brought it all night long. Here is your winner, Maria Kanellis. Nice victory here tonight for Maria Kanellis. I don't make the matches, but if I did, I'd put these two back in the ring ASAP. What an amazing match. And that's yet another great match the city of Baltimore has hosted over the years. Let's keep the action rolling along. Tag team matchup on the way.
The Undisputed Era is here. Cole, Strong, O'Reilly, and Fish, four of the most elite superstars in the entire world. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Roderick Strong and Adam Cole, at a combined weight of 397 pounds, the ring, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. This is it, tag team action underway here, guys. All the budding Ouch. tag teams out there hoping to one day make it to the big stage. Better be watching this match with a notepad in hand because you can bet this is going to be a lesson in how it's done. Part of the lawless outfit known as the Undisputed Era, O'Reilly is set to wreak havoc. Yeah, sometimes you need to go outside the bounds of the rule to make noise. Kyle O'Reilly knows that. It's got Dawson on the defensive now. He looks to be a little surprised right now. Well, it's not dire consequences for him here, which is good. But just in case, he might want to think about getting his partner in there for a bit. I'm not going to go so far as to say he can't win this match, but things certainly aren't looking good for him right now. Shifted here, Michael. Beautiful technique. Thank you. 
between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three fall bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are... Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. A two out of three falls match to sell the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus as a throwback of sorts. Setting it up. Oh, brain buster. Can he end it here? His shoulders are down. Scott Dawson powers that shoulder up. What a kick out. Whenever tag team is on the docket, the mayhem multiplies. Here's the proof. This was one of those matches that had flashes of brilliance, but never quite lived up to all the hype. Good match overall, though. And there was no question about that one. When you put these two together, victory is really the only plausible outcome. And that's yet another great match the city of Baltimore has hosted over the years. We'll see if the next match can equal that last one. Singles action coming your way. One of your favorites, Mike Kanellis. Well, I wouldn't go that far. Making his way to the ring from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 205 pounds, Mike Kanellis. Mike Kanellis is a global superstar, which is why the beautiful Maria fell so head over heels in love with him. Byron, you should take notes. He also did some miraculous work in the Indies in Japan before joining WWE.
and his opponent from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 209 pounds, Jushin Thunder Liger. There is an absolutely big fight feel in the arena tonight for this one. Yeah, and judging from the vibe here currently, it seems to me like this is the one this sold-out crowd came to see. in a hard fought match. between these two superstars. The first one to make a mistake could fail. Guys, can you imagine what Vince McMahon Sr. would say if he saw a match like this? Uh, it really is amazing how much sports entertainment has evolved over the years. Nice down kick, great elevation. Boom, what impact. expect him to bounce back though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected, especially considering who he's in the ring with. Well, this certainly escalated in a hurry. I don't think any of us expected to see him fall behind so quickly. TLC matches became so popular that WWE established a separate special event named after the match. In 2013, WWE once again made history. This was history that was 50 years in the making. The Viper, Randy Orton, was WWE champion. John Cena was the World Heavyweight Champion. The winner would leave as WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Setting him up for something here. And whatever it is, it's going to hurt, and it's going to hurt bad. Corey, you mentioned this earlier, but it bears repeating the match had incredible historical significance. The World Heavyweight Championship dates back to the early 1900s. The WWE Championship dates back to 1963. In the first WWE Champion, Nature Boy, Buddy Rogers. There was a big fight feel in Houston, Texas that night. It looked like the Viper was going to win after he handcuffed Cena to the bottom rope. But Cena detached the rope and fought back against Orton. Both men struggled until the Apex Predator ripped Cena off the ladder, forcing him to land face first on a table. The Viper became immortalized when he grabbed both historic prizes and became the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. This is definitely where you want to be at this point in a ladder match. But beware, just because you're the only one in the ring doesn't mean you're guaranteed a victory. Just ask The Miz. The Miz, as Byron was saying earlier, was seemingly the only one in the ring capable of grabbing the Intercontinental Championship during the WrestleMania 32 ladder match, but his history will tell you he was in for a rude 
awakening. That's right. The Miz was just seconds away from winning that match, and he would have if it wasn't for that punk Zack Ryder. But hey, I guess even a blind squirrel finds a nut every now and then. And don't even get me started on the blind squirrel's father. What the heck was he wearing? Here we go, back inside the ring. Vertical suplex. Nice. I don't believe it. And that table can shorten careers, Michael. Look at this, guys. Things are looking good now. The only thing left to do is climb the ladder and leave here the winner. Your odds of winning absolutely increase when you're the only one in the ring. But just because you're so low doesn't mean you're going to win. Think about it. Climbing a ladder isn't necessarily the easiest thing to do, especially after you've been beat on since the opening bell. Opening bell or not, Saxton, you couldn't climb a step stool to change a light bulb without getting dizzy. Let's be honest here. All right, don't blow this. It's not very often you stand alone in the ring with the ladder. Now just climb that bad boy and walk out of here with the win. You make it sound so easy, but if we're being real, it doesn't matter how many people are in the ring. Climbing that ladder is no easy task. And just when you think you're at the top and you're within inches of winning, you can bet one of your opponents will make you think otherwise. What do you think? They're not going to just sit there and let you win. I don't think so. I don't believe it. And that table can shorten careers, Michael. Mike Canales here took the unorthodox action of assuming his wife's last name. It's a weird move, but I have to say it served him well. Weird? Weird? It's all about the power of love, Cole. Mike is seeing great success as a Canellas. Plus, it doesn't hurt that his wife is super successful. The two of you had a pretty weird discussion about the power of love and the Canellas name. Look, I'm not name judging anyone, but I kind of think Mike is just riding Maria's coattails. And what is wrong with that, Saxton? Pat McAfee rides Evan coattails, and he's doing great. I've been considering rebranding as Corey Canellas. Oh, my no, gosh. wait. The great Corey Canellas. Stop, I'm begging you. All right, listen up, morons, especially you, Byron. A tables, ladders, and chairs match commonly known as the TLC match originated thanks to three of the greatest tag teams of all time. I'm talking about the Dudley Boys, the Hardy Boys, and Edge and Christian. You got the tables for the Dudleys, the ladders for the Hardys, and the chairs for E and C. Here it is! Corey, you spoke about the TLC match. It is interesting to note that the TLC match was created because of the incredible triangle ladder match the Dudley Boys had against the Hardys and Edge and Christian for the WWE Tag Team titles at WrestleMania 2000. And that was just the beginning. You got that right, Michael. There was incredible history between those three teams. Each duo put it all on the line so they could be WWE Tag Team Champions. Even though the wild matches between them had TLC elements in them, the first official TLC match sanctioned by WWE took place at SummerSlam 2000. Oh no, we've got a problem here, guys. No kidding, who knows what will happen next? Outrageous athleticism on the Hurricane. This is it, guys. There may be no bigger opening than right now. The only thing left to do is climb the ladder and win this thing. He might have it. Oh, incredible. He 
doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Byron, you mentioned earlier that the only thing left to do when you're the only superstar in the ring is to quote unquote climb the line and win. But I can't help but wonder if the pressure becomes even greater when you have such a huge opening. You mean the yips, Cole? I don't know if I'd go that far. I mean, it's not like these superstars are second basemen in New York. Whether you like it or not, there's the match right there. I love the fact that TLC in the outside world means tender love and care. And the WWE, well, take a look for yourself. Here is your winner, Jushin Thunder Liger. Huge victory here in one-on-one -on -one action. I got a feeling they're going to be talking about this win for a while. And that's yet another great match the city of Baltimore has hosted over the years. Main event time, folks. Here we go. Singles match on tap next. doing out here the superstar in the ring is expecting another opponent this is oh now i get it byron now i get it oh no no this superstar attacked the, the person who was supposed to be in this matchup and now making a beeline for the ring what a shame this is this isn't even the scheduled match oh. but we're gonna have a brawl anyway yeah these two superstars we really can't stand each other and now we'll see a line hammer away official knocked out of the way here we go Look who we have coming from the back. Why am I not surprised? What a stomp! Good grief! Running Bulldog! Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. 